This is a supplementary video for our study published in Foot and Ankle International titled Non-Invasive Soft Tissue Expansion Strips and Wound Complications After Total Ankle Arthroplasty. We will provide a short summary of our findings and a technique video on application of the non-invasive soft tissue expansion strips. Notably, the authors have no financial disclosures related to this product. The manufacturer provided a portion of the strips used in the study as free samples. As a summary, we put a new low-cost wound care product on patients after total ankle arthroplasty. We compared the treatment group of 41 patients to the 41 consecutive patients previously treated by the same surgeons. We cut the rate of patients needing extra clinic visits for wound checks or suture removal from 49% to 15% and decreased superficial wound complications from 12% to 2%. This product is commercially available under the name Dynaclose. Our protocol was to place four strips at the conclusion of the surgery, and then we placed a new set of four strips after suture removal. The following videos demonstrate application at the post-operative visit. Here we are, we're at, uh, we're at a post-op visit for a total ankle replacement. This is proximal up here and distal down here. We put uh, these Dynaclo strips on. You can see one of them fell off already, but here's what they look like. It's steri strips on both sides and then it has this elastic in the middle that's helping pull that incision together. So you see what happens when we dorsiflex up that there's just a little more tension on that especially the central portion of the incision right there where it wants to kind of gap open and so we're going to take these off and uh, get the stitches out and then we'll show you putting them back on. So here are these uh, non-invasive soft tissue expansion strips. I'll show you how to put these on. They're labeled uh, one, two, and three. So first thing is you take number one off. And you see that it's got some elastic in the middle and you pull it out until that number three completely um, elongates and then it stops you from over tensioning it. So you pull it out all the way and then just put it down. It's gonna stick on either side. Then number two, you just roll off down that way, roll off down here, and then take number three off. And there you go. So you got steri strips on both sides with some elastic on the middle, just alleviating some of the tension off of that incision. So we'll do that. Again, we're gonna take number one off. We're gonna stretch it all the way out put it down, roll number two on both sides, roll number three off. And they come in a pack of four, um, so I typically will we'll use all four, uh, but really focus in on the central portion of that incision, which is where dehiscences are most likely to happen. And uh, in this patient, we didn't have any ancillary procedures other than a tendo Achilles lengthening, so no incisions to work around. But if there are uh, extra incisions, then you can place these obliquely to avoid those. Right. And there we go. So now when we dorsiflex and plantar flex, the steri strips come apart just a little bit. Right, but that elastic is helping alleviate some of the tension that normally would be placed all up the incision line. For further details, please see our study in the Foot and Ankle International Journal. Thank you for your time and attention.